is super awesome, incredibly special, spring equinox fairy collaboration with me and with beautiful, beautiful Burko from Leo Guidance Time. She is such a dream and a sweet, dear friend. Thank you, Odessa, for bringing us together. So today, this is actually the second take. I did one reading and we forgot to turn the microphone on. And so I'm doing a do-over. So for everybody there who's had to have do-overs or things didn't turn out because <laughs> of some silly little thing like the microphone for me, um, this is your confirmation that all is well. Do it again. We've got our mugwort burning. I went and picked some mugwort and lemon balm about a week ago. A couple of elementals coming in to help cleanse us, to help protect us psychically from all the negative energies. And thanks to Leo Guidance Time, I am bringing um, a fear to you. And the fear is... Um, doing ink readings. A couple of few weeks ago I had the inspiration to use the berries and flowers that I grow in the garden and do ink readings. Um, and so when I got in contact with Leo Guidance and she said, yeah, and that sounds like a great idea, I decided I'm going to uh, bring my fear to you. I know y'all have fears and one of my patterns of behavior is that fear paralyzes me and I just stop, you know, I just cower in a corner. Um, so I'm bringing you my brave way, bravery. I'm bringing my bravery to the gateway. And so for the spring equinox we have some elderberry. An elderberry tree is an ancient tree full of myth and legend. And legend has it that the queen of fairies, the queen of the elementals, lives within the elder tree. And she is the gateway, the guardian of the gateways and boundaries, the guardian of the other world, the dream world. Um, she brings she brings balance to chaos. She brings order to opposition. And so I thought, wow, this would be beautiful. This is Elderberry came to me and then subsequently I started having dreams about doing these ink reads. I've never done anything like this before. Um, but now that I've, this is take two, I know that it, it works <laughs> and that I can do it. So I'm not, and I'm not as afraid um, having gone through the gateway thanks to the Queen of Fairies. And so what we're going to do, ooh, um, we had choices. Your choices, I'm going to put a picture after this intro because the little kitties ate your choices. Um, but I went out in the garden and picked little spring babies, the ones that grow first for the spring equinox. And they are uh, mock strawberry, which is a wonderful cleansing herb. Um, it's used in snake bites. It's a nice astringent. It has nutritional value, so God forbid. Um, you can eat your weeds if you know what you're looking for. Always do your research and cross-references. So for group one, we have mock strawberry. And then for group two is henbit. She, henbit. she is in the mint family. And she's very, very nutritious. Lots of vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin K. Um, and uh, she's just wonderful to have in the springtime garden. And then we have little Violet for the third choice. And I'll put a picture up between um, this intro and our reads for you to gaze at. In the meantime, in the beginning of every um, read, we're going to ask Elderberry, Elderberry, Queen of Fairy, what topic the, um, she would like to bring forth for you uh, in our beautiful fairy read. And I thank y'all for being with me with this second time <laughs> ever in my life of doing ink readings. 
Thank you for holding my hands while we're manifesting dreams. Thank you for the bravery in this energetic exchange between you and me and the fairies. Um, I hope to help lift your fears and calm your fears with the lemon balm here and with the reading. So without further ado, my beautiful ones, let's into it. I shall see you in your group. Group one is Mock Strawberry, group two is Henbit, and group three is Sweet Violet. So we should, oh, is that how it goes? Yes, pretty sure. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, yeah, I'm a thousand percent sure. <laughs> oh, this energy of second guessing ourselves. I love it. The Queen of Fairies is already working her magic. Okay, so group one, Mock Strawberry. Group two, hen bent with the mint family, and group three, sweet violet, and I shall see you there. Let's into it, my friends. Hello, 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 beautiful group one. I hope you're able to see this on the camera. Eventually, we'll have better camera stuff. Um... But this too is a shared thing. We don't have to have all the perfect everything in order to begin our transformation and to begin our journey. In case you missed the intro, this is a fairy collaborative with my very fairy friend, Leo Guidance Time. I just thank her for her support in this collaboration. She's my little accountability buddy. Um, one of my patterns of behavior and fear is to be paralyzed and not do anything and some weeks ago the Fae brought this uh, inspiration of doing ink reads with the berries that grow and wouldn't you know I had some elderberry in the freezer this sweet elderberry um, was a gift she hadn't grown in my yard and then March 2020 there she was so we're going to ask the Queen of Fairy Elderberry what she would like to bring forth for you on this beautiful spring equinox the gateway between the winter and the summer um, we have a moon in Aries and a sun in Aries. I got some seeds in here. There we go. You know, and this trial and error, don't be afraid. That should do. Don't be afraid. All right, so I hope you can see this. Okay, well, let me just one more time. Little, they're full of seeds, little tiny baby seeds. Here, let's do some, some more smashing. There we go. Perfect. Try and try again. Fairy, fairy, queen, okay, elderberry, elderberry, queen of fairy, what would you like to bring forth? Try and try again. Everything is falling into place. The removal of confusion and doubt. Okay, so there's a confused and doubt, but fairy, fairy, Queen of Elderberry says everything is falling into place. This is your confirmation. Everything is falling into place. So let's let Lady Elderberry, Queen of Fairies, bring forth this confusion. There's a, there's a confusion, a nervousness, a great confusion. Um, Try and try again comes forward from the Fae. Try and try again. Everything is falling into place. Everything is as it should be. Everything is falling into place. 
fairy fairy queen of elderberry everything is falling into place for you I'm going to just pick several cards. Everything is falling into place. Messages from the Queen of Fairy regarding this confusion. Messages from the Queen of Fairy regarding this confusion. Go outside! Go outside! Oops, let's do it like this. Move this little cup since we're good. Go outside is the first card out. Ask for help. Oh, look. Yes, indeedy. We can get lost in the state of confusion, and then confusion leads to anxiety, and you're trying to do it by yourself, which makes it even more confusing. <laughs> um, well, okay. Everything is as it should be. You're okay. Everything is okay. There's this urgency to tell you that, that everything is falling into place, even though it doesn't feel like this. Ooh, beautiful timeline. Wait for winter. You desperately need a timeline. No, this is not forever. In winter, you'll start to see clearer. It'll start to make sense in the winter. Protect your dreams, beautiful ones. Oh, oh, beautiful. Protect your dreams. And then we have temptation. And then we have journey. Oh, I love this. I love this. In this confusion, the Queen of Fairies is bringing you instruments, offsets, things you can do to help yourself through this confusing time that leads to anxiety, that leads to negative self-talk. Um, gosh, is one giving you a timeline and that's going to help you as a tether, something to hold on to, a timeline. Another thing she's bringing forth is Elderberry is the guardian of our passages, of the gateways that we approach through the journey of our life. And <clears throat> when we're in a low vibrational state and we give way to the temptation of doubt and um, dimming our light and our authentic self for the sake of others or for societal norms, so to speak. Um, there's a temptation to, s to stop. There's a temptation to throw your hands in the air and say, I've had enough. The Queen of Fairies is acknowledging this as you enter into her gateway. She's asking you to look at these temptations and how you um, have come to use certain aspects of self as a means to hide or bargain or compromise your true self. Mine, for example, is this exercise in fear and bringing fear to Elderberry's gate um, and giving that fear to you through these ink readings. Um, one of the things that I get is fear paralysis, so it's my temptation in fear to distract myself with all kinds of other things and then there's this habitual negative self-talk and then it puts me in a free state and then I won't do a fairy reading like I asked y'all when I first started doing this y'all want me to do a fairy reading and everybody said yeah and I was like oh no <laughs> and I got scared into a freeze so um I was inspired to ask for help, and I asked Leo Guidance time, hey, will you help me? Will you do a fairy reading for me? And this was way back when I first started, so October, November, and then I put it off because my fear state, frozen thing, I put it off for the spring equinox, and it justified 
um, doing it, but really I gave in to the temptation of procrastination. Um, however, <laughs> on the other hand, the balance of that is nonetheless I persisted. And nonetheless, so will you. The Queen of Fairies is bringing up, you know, my own story and analogy because I feel like energetically y'all are kind of in the, that same space and it leads to confusion. Um, and it's a very hard thing to ask people for help. One of the things the Queen of Fairies is bringing forth is to go outside, even if it's just, you know, just outside your door. A fallen leaf, a butterfly going by, a little lizard running across your path, a froggy, a bird flying by your eyes at just the right time. Um, when you're having down feelings and then the wind comes and tickles your cheek, these are all elements of Fay coming forth and giving you love and giving you support. And in these moments of joy, this will help you turn, clear, clarify the confusion. It'll help put obey at the confusion. And by and by, it'll help lower those defenses of protection and allow you to ask others for help. I just love this. It's time to go outside. Time tune in to the powerful peace of nature. Wherever you are, feel at one with your habitat. Give yourself time to just sit outside and listen and listen. The tinkling of a stream, that's a fairy loving you, saying you're okay, you're protected, you're awesome. Ask for help. Angels. Oh, look at the angels coming in. I just love this green. I just felt like Angel Raphael is giving you love, love of self, the gift of love for self, the gift of love for who you are, compassion, kindness. Aww. Maybe you've wanted to hide your compassion and kindness because it's been taken advantage of. And it's tempting to give too much to appease others, and so yourself gets hurt, your heart gets hurt. Um, managing expectations around other people is what the Queen of Fairies is asking. This is a big ask. I love that this tuning into your angels. Let's let's look. Besides Angel Raphael. I'm not I want to see what other angels are with you now since the Fae brought it forth. I love you, sweet Queen of Fairies. Angels will help clarify this confusion. Um, everything is falling into place. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And look at you opening your child self up to receive the love that Angel Raphael is replenishing you with. Oh, that's so beautiful. See your inner child, you've been doing some work. The long shadow of this last winter, all the cosmological energies bombarding us, the, the plague, everything that we've been through for the last few years, you've really been doing some work with your child self. And it's at this spring equinox, at this gateway with the queen of fairies, where you're able and willing where you've come as a child with your arms extended receiving the gifts of the heaven receiving the angels and really pouring love and light and joy into your child self and the queen of fairies says one way that you can do that is to go outside and just let nature give it give you the miracles it has for you the little gifts that will um, invigorate you and open your heart. These gifts in nature will help you and help Angel Raphael do their work with you. Oh, that's so pretty. I just real quick want to pull um, a couple of angels as we go through here. This is your journey as a connectivity with the angels. 
Anytime you get confused, just like this confusion that came through the, in the um, elderberry, a uh, confusion, wanting to throw your hands in the air, and look, her hands are in the air. One of the different, okay, this is beautiful. So in the state of confusion, um, there's a fear that makes you feel small and childlike, and it makes you want to throw your hands up in the air as to give up. But when you go outside, and who knows what it's going to be, a falling leaf just at the right time when you're thinking, you know, maybe I'll leave this situation behind, and oh, a little leaf comes within your view falling. I'm like, wow, look at that. In that very moment right there, the angels are turning around that confusion, and the, and the nature elements are opening your heart rather than, to light and love and possibility rather than that confused doubtful make you feel small self so you transform rather than throwing your hands up in a in a I give up it's you're, th you're putting your hands up in a joyful reception of the healing that angel Raphael is bringing to you an integration of that beautiful child you once left behind and welcoming this child back into your heart as you go forward and go outside and receive the gifts that the universe has for you. You're going to see some definite progress in the winter. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good. This journey you're on of recognizing your patterns of behavior um, that make you that create doubt, that create confusion, compromising yourself for others, um, always putting others first, and to the point of exhaustion where there's nothing else left for you. This spring equinox, this gateway that you're at with the Fae, this um, journey through the spring and the summer and the powerful Pluto coming into Aquarius, uh, this, this powerful dynamic of change, of um, dreaming, of, of resetting goals and values and structures, you know, it's entering this fixed sign. So through these, the course of these months until we get to winter, you're going to come to a real great awareness of what belongs to you, what belongs to the collective, and what coping mechanisms you've integrated over your journey that tempt you to make yourself small. You're going to be transforming those temptations into going outside, let the universe work its miracles for you, receiving the love of Raphael and the other angels in order to protect your dreams and carry you through this journey. Everything is falling into place, says the Queen of Fairies. This temptation of, of throwing it all away, um, of stopping, consistency over time, it will be worth it. Don't stop. It will be worth it. Boy, this is, this. sometimes you want to give up. And the queen of fairies, even the angels, are coming in and saying, No, don't do it. Don't give up. Protect your dreams. Sweet angels. What angels want to come forth to show? Oh, there's two here. And two here. Wow, they came together. Hmm. Gemini, I heard, duality, um, you have a face for your work people, you're someone else for your home people, this is, this is that temptation of compromising self, this is a normal thing that we do, we have Angel Raziel, Angel Gabriel with benediction, Excellent, excellent, excellent. As you're going through this process, identifying, and look, one of the things that's really important is be present with this confusion. One of our temptations is to push it away and to not deal with it. Go outside. 
Just be present with this state of confusion and doubt and fear so that you're intrinsically aware, knowing that you, the fairies have your back, the angels have your back. You will find your voice in the stillness of, the, of nature. You will find your voice to ask for help. Look at this. Angel Gabriel is the angel of messenger messages. Some of you are here. Part of this confusion and wanting to give up is what do you have to give? Who the heck am I to help this person or that person? You're the person the universe chose. This is part of your journey here. Don't be tempted by your lack of confidence or low self-worth. This will be your benediction. This, this place of confusion where you are right now in your journey is actually one of these big, big blessings because it's within this catalyst where you realize and you start to integrate your child self. It's in this catalyst of confusion and going outside in this stillness where your intuition is found. Angel Azrael is, Raziel, I'm sorry, is coming through to help you heal these chakras, heal your heart space. Blessed is your journey in this place, although it doesn't feel like it sometimes and you really want to give up, but Wow, is the Queen of Fairies coming through to say everything is falling into place. You have to have to hear that. Everything is falling into place. It's okay to ask for help. Angel Gabriel is here saying, I will give you the strength of voice to ask for help when you need it. Angel Raziel is working with Angel Raphael to align your heart, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your crown chakra opening you up to your dreams. Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close into your heart until you're ready to release them. Oh, that's so beautiful. Here at the precipice, at the boundary with Elderberry, the queen of fairy, the protector of boundaries. She is with you, holding your hand as you protect your own boundaries and your own dreams. You, you get confused. I don't think you see your greatness like your angels see your greatness and the fae see your greatness. I think you're tempted to drive yourself small. This is a pattern of behavior. This is a pattern that keeps you spinning round and round, unable to move. You're going to see great changes in that come this winter time. It was important that the universe bring you a timeline, something to look forward to. Um, there's a sense of like um, not having grounding or an anchor. This going outside and being still with nature and allowing, allowing the elementals to bring you their gifts is really going to help grow your confidence and it's really going to help you um, ground to something so that the round and round and round doesn't make you dizzy and fall down. It's going to help you hone into your inter intuition and, and really receive the trueness of your heart so that you don't fall into the, the round and round of changing your perspective depending on who you're with, just to keep the peace. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Ooh, Queen of Fae coming through. Ooh, in this state of confusion, it could be around some news where you suddenly want to move or go somewhere. Maybe you've been invited to go somewhere, but um, there's a lot of confusion around it. 
the Queen of Fae is urging you to do so. Be adventurous, spontaneous. That's a nice offset to this confusion. Maybe there's confusion because you're stuck in a routine. Um, this go outside and journey is a means to shake up that routine, to offer you insight into finding your voice and the ability to ask for help and to tuning into your intuition. Yeah, I love it. Sandolphin is here to help you clarify your intention. Manifestations through this confusion. Well, they're not really manifestations at all. They only drive us smaller. There's a <clears throat> it's taking longer than you would like. It gets hard to protect your dreams. And your intention is sometimes um, ego based out of confusion, so it's hard to it's hard to articulate what you want. I love that the blessing of of clarity and intuition and the ability to clearly speak what you want without feeling small about it, really coming out of the, your own shadow. I love this. I love this. Look at this sun coming out for you. These are beautiful angels working with you. Shamael, oh look! Look at this promise of serenity. Oh, like they said, everything is falling into place, said the Queen of Fairies. Everything is falling into place. It only feels uh, the confusion is what's making it feel as though you you want to give up. Don't give up, says your team. You've just started this journey. It's going to be awesome. By winter, you'll be absolutely clear of what you want because you will have had experience. There's a lot of purple coming up. Opening your expansion. Opening your third eye and your crown chakra to the unseen possibilities and really holding on to that. It's a transformation of depending on the material and depending more on the miracle and the spiritual side to help get you through. Where people have disappointed you in their inability to be the support you need at that moment, you're learning the art and the craft of receiving signs from source that are all around you as you go outside as you're in as you're in your quiet spaces oh this is so pretty i you know this weight um with this confusion and this wanting to this is it really worth it and throw your hands up in the air and say that's it i'm done i don't i can't see the worth in this i just love how Source is saying, wait, wait, we've been hearing you. You've been asking for help. We're right here. We're giving you signs. Can you see us? Can you see us? Please see us. Open your heart. And that is exactly what you're doing. By winter time next year, you're going to be in a completely different um, emanation of yourself. You are completely blessed. You're going to be so dang proud of, of, of what you went through on this journey as you start to really realize who you are. The temptation to make yourself smaller or dim your lights or to maybe compromise yourself is because at this point in time the confusion comes from not knowing who you are and not knowing your true worth but this is changing says the queen of fairies at this gateway that we're here together at let's get a couple more fairy um how are you helping how else are you helping sweet queen of fairies what else would you like group one to know our sweet mock strawberry group what else would you like? Another thing too about the mock strawberry is blessings and luck and love. So as blessings and good fortune and, and I just love this. This is a blessing and a good fortune for your self-love, confidence, 
seeing things through and really accessing and protecting your dreams even through the confusion that you didn't stop when you wanted to that you didn't throw your hands in the air as a giving up but rather a receiving of the healing and blessings that you worked so hard for oh I love it I love it Well, these three want to just come together. Get one more. Gratitude. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. Oh, look at that. Another confirmation of everything is falling into place. Everything will be all right. As you go through this, as you resist these temptations to dim your light, practice makes perfect. It is a long, long journey. And this confusion makes us afraid of the adventure. Everything is going to be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. Aww. You know, maybe even go outside and allow yourself to be silly. Shake your arms around. Do some little somersaults. Rolling around. Make your body move in ways that make you giggle. Maybe sing in front of the mirror. It's your favorite song. Really belt it out and laugh at yourself. You know, maybe spray your hair blue and green and purple and stick it straight up as far as you can just really silly funny things friends oh look ask for help friends all the love your light extends its reflection is shown in friends oh you are capable of having friendships you are capable of trusting this is, this is what you're coming back home to, is, is love, unconditional trust, serenity, clear intentions, clear articulation of your needs and desires without putting someone else down in order to convey them. Oh, an alignment of your intuition and clarity of thought. Family! Wherever you go, whatever you do, your family is here for you. Aww. And this is your angel family and your fae family. You're not so disconnected. They are always with you and they love, love, love you. They're coming out just real powerful. And I love this. Wait, wait. Ask us for help. We're right here. We've been with you this whole time. We've been on this journey. We love you. They're so happy you're here at this gateway, at Elderberry Fairy Gateway. Wait. I know you're tired. I know it gets confusing. I know it's taken a long time, but it will come to you. Oh, your fairy angel family is with you in everything you do. It's tempting to doubt what we cannot see, but what you cannot see is really coming forth saying, We love you, we love you, keep going, keep going. Rose quartz crystal, soothing and warm like the love that flows. Once under your pillow, your magic grows. Rose quartz, if you're able, get yourself some rose quartz, says the Queen of Fairies. Put it in your pocket. Carry it with you wherever you go. Put it under your pillow. Um, think pink before you go to bed. Really try to see pink. Um, another thing you can do... Oh, look, pink. Another thing you can do is um, just take a color crayon and color a swath of paper pink and carry it with you. Put it under your pillow. Let it do its work for you. Let it help... Um, clear the confusion for you and as you go outside you will see little miracles and confirmations from the elementals um, helping you get clarity helping you protect your dreams this is just absolutely beautiful 
Angels that you'll want to research if you don't know them. Shamael, Sundolphin, Raziel, Gabriel, and Raphael are really doing their work with you. They're very, very close. And they need you to know this, that in this confusion, don't give up. Don't stop. Keep going. It is worth it. You're tempted to give up. Don't give up. Protect your dreams. Go outside. We're here with you. We're on this journey with you. And we love you. And with that, I shall close group one. Um, we have a contest. I'm looking for 500 subbies to make that big achievement, that big goal. Together we can do it. Leave a comment. Be sure to s and subscribe, and then I'll put you in a drawing, and we'll draw for uh, a free read with me, Damselflies. Also, please, please, please go and visit Sweet Leo Guidance Time. I thank her so much for her inspiration and for her friendship and her sisterhood, and I thank y'all, too. I shall see you soon. Bye. Hello, 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 beautiful hand bit family, mint family loves. How are you today? A little candle went out, so we'll, we'll, we'll light one. Welcome to this beautiful fairy collaboration with uh, Leo Guidance Time, my dear sister and friend, my accountability buddy through this. Um, some months ago, I had a inspiration of doing an ink reading with um, the flower babies that grow in my garden and particularly with the fairies and the nature elements um, because of flowers and, and stuff like that and I have a long long since childhood love of the fae we used to hang out together before the veil got too thick. Um, but there's a great fear here, and so I put it off and put it off, and then I asked uh, Leo Guidance Time, will you like to do this with me? <laughs> um, in order to force myself to face a fear. And with all of y'all here, I'm so excited because I feel like right now we're all facing a lot of fears, and the best way to face them is together. So for the very first time ever, I'm going to be doing an ink reading and um, I have some, like I said, the little elderberry. I explain more about it in the, um, but I just saw in the intro, and actually this is my second time recording because we didn't have the microphone plugged in. So I'm not as fe feared as I was at the first time. There we go. And as we learn and grow, I'll do it differently. Hopefully, you know, we're learning and growing. We'll get better equipment. But I also want to bring the energy exchange to the collective is you don't have to have everything perfect to start living your dream, to start following your intuition. Okay, elderberry, elderberry, message from the fairies, elderberry, elderberry, what's the topic from the fairy? The queen of fairies and the elementals live within the elderberry, it's ancient, ancient magic. Elderberry, elderberry, queen of fairy, what is our topic? A scattered, intense, emotional state. Something's feeling like it's left behind or lost. Almost a tragic and profound emotional state that stains all you see and all you feel is filtered through an intense emotionality that's hard to regulate leaves you feeling behind in some way. 
Sweet Queen of Fairy. Can we have some guidance around this emotional intensity? Um, Self-regulation. This journey of finding balance, emotional balance. Um, there's an emotional battle happening here. The beautiful good news just right out the gate is the long shadow of winter is over now. And we are entering light. We're entering the gateway of spring and the equinox and possibility and hope and dreams. So... Thank you for bringing this emotional intensity to me as I bring my fears to you. We can together raise the vibration of this powerful weight. Sweet Queen of Fairies, what would you like us to know about this emotional intensity here in group two? Sweet Queen of Fairies. Oh, look. Manifestation. Hope. Oh, I love this. The Queen of Fairies. Look at this beautiful hope. Look at her looking up. In this time of emotional intensity, of, of, of desperation, of just plain hurt, there's hurt here. Um, have hope, says the Queen of Fairies. Have hope, says the elementals. Hope is within you. Hope is hugging you. Hope is sending you this beautiful dove of peace, of um, inspiration, of renewal. Oh, she's so pretty. And look up. And this is beautiful. You're at a pivotal point of no longer turning your back on the rainbows, on possibility, on, on color and light. Celebration! Oh, look! Divination! Oh, look! And solitude! Oh, this might be emotionally intense, and I am honored that I get to be with you in this emotionally intense time when you're trying to uh, navigate the choppy waters of regulating our emotional self that can be so dreaded and profound. There's an awakening in you that's come to the realization that this um, shadow state is interfering with your manifestation. This brooding is interfering with your ability to truly celebrate. The voices that have been pre-recorded in your head to drive you down and help spin you out into these intensely emotional states is interfering with your ability to hear and connect with the divine. This is an amazing and and massive um, realization. It's hitting you at once with, oh yay, finally I have awareness, and also angry at self because despite this awareness, you're still unable to um, celebrate and feel happy and, and go about, you, you still find yourself in these emotionally intense responsive states. Um, the Queen of Fairies says, this is part of the process. This is part of the process. Um, we have to practice, and then practice, 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 practice becomes the, the, becomes the go-to. Um, right now, you're at the gateway. You're at the precipice. You've, you've entered toward, you're on the bridge. You're on the bridge to your future self. And the future self that is able to emotionally regulate and to discern what's coming from your negative thought patterns, what is habituated, and to be able to say, oh, I'm having a habituated response. Um, this is why I feel so intense right now. And you're learning 
ways to subdue those frantic voices and replace them with the loving voices, the hopeful voices, the joyful voices of the Fae and the angels and your spiritual team. You'll find this in your solitude. At first when you're alone, this is one of the processes, first when you're alone there's this inability to be still um, because so many um, negative thoughts come in at once and it you actually have profound physical sensations, this need for emotional, to get your emotions in check profound um, sadness, anger, fear, but how else could it be? The, there's an awareness here of giving yourself a break, of maintaining hope when you're feeling hopeless, knowing, discerning that this is a feeling that's been conditioned in me over time. It's going to take me time to, un to recondition myself in feelings of hope and celebration and trust in the divine trust in my path Ooh, this is powerful you also might experience the clairs claircognizance clairsentience clairaudio um, a real in tune with um, that which is unseen you're a diviner yourself a, a prophet of sorts, a channeler, a medium, um, and this is not something that's been celebrated, and so you've hidden these aspects of yourself, but by and by, over the last little while, couple of years, with this cosmological energy, with the circumstances and situations in our um, world, there's a reawakening and a, a new hope that's being born. A willingness to celebrate yourself for who you are and how you present to the world. A clearness of your journey and your gifts. And thereby manifesting your dreams. You will emotionally regulate. You will. Part of the reason it's so powerful is your empathic abilities and discerning what's coming from you and what's coming from the collective. You're not alone. Source is really, really with you. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Write it down on paper. Manifesting step one. And then we have hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one one of the things that might help you with your emotional um, intensity is this write it down and it's a list be managing expectations us idealistic ones sometimes have a hard time with that and um, the world can be a completely disappointing place when we believe in magic and everyone else says it doesn't exist one of the things that it can help you possibly from the queen of fairies along your way is to write a list expectation reality you know those fun little memes and whatnot expectation and reality um, <laughs> expectation and reality and just write yourself a little list and see where they're matched and mismatched and that'll be a means to help you with clarity of intention celebration get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out dance play an invitation could be on the way Ooh, in this emotional state, you might be saying no to people. Um, someone wants to come by and have a chit chat and you say no. Um, someone's inviting you to dinner, you say no. The Queen of Fairies is coming and asking you to say yes to an invitation. It'll help for the moment put that emotional intensity on a pause and it'll help recalibrate um, 
your sensations. It'll allow you to be in the company of others, to watch a funny movie or go go through some funny memes, share some um, comedy, say yes to invitations, even when you don't want to. Especially now, there's a especially now you don't have to be alone there might be a fear of rejection that um, some people are sick of it when you do this they're not your people loves they're not your people the queen of fairies is coming to say that your people are on their way People who will help you, I like this too, boundaries and emotional intensity. They'll help you, um, Queen of Fairies, the protector, the guardian of boundaries and gateways, is here to help you manifest your own boundaries and gateways around your emotions. You're not wrong for having these emotions, as intense as they are. Some of you are water spirits, um, water signs, it can't be helped that you would feel emotion so intensely but it is inhibiting you it is at times it it, it makes you feel left behind like other people are progressing but you're left behind you're still having these emotional meltdowns Sweet empath, it, you must express yourself and, and emotional meltdowns, emotional intensity is part of that. And what you're learning as you're learning your craft and discerning what belongs to you and what doesn't, but it's necessary too to have these emotional meltdowns. But we can have these meltdowns in a very positive way. You know, that bubble wrap that pops and stuff, you can um, smash that to express some emotional meltdowning. The Queen of Fairies is going to bring you means to offset the intensity of these emotions and restore hope and clarity. Embrace your powers of divination. They are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity yes do not lose hope of your abilities just because you're feeling intensely emotional about it this is this will be cause for celebration think of being alone oh as meaning you are all one and total harmony with everything. The greatest treasure are those that wait silently in your quiet times. I love this elderberry here where um, this emotional intensity and feeling like you've left part of you behind and then the queen of fairies comes to say, oh sweet one, that's only a trick. What's happening is you're uniting. That's only a feeling that you're left behind when in fact what you're actually doing is integrating. You're becoming one. It is a slow process, a painful process, but a worthy process. So maintain hope. You are not alone. You see this like you feel all alone in these emotional times perhaps from being rejected and having nobody to go to no oh, and look at the fairies coming forth to say we've never left you we've always been here we believe in you we are all one together as a collective you are all one. It's not being left behind. It's being reintegrated. You're learning about self. You're learning discernment of what pain belongs to you and what pain is the collective and the energy giving you. This is not an easy process. 
Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, look at the celebration in the heart in the center here. You're coming to celebrate your gifts and have hope, and, and they're just going to be so treasured. Just absolute treasure. Your gifts for you. So, oh, sweet Queen of Fairies. What else would you like Group 2 to know? Oh, here we go. Sweet Fairies. What else would you like Group 2? Oh, look! Be strong. Oh, you just can't even make this up. Be strong. When trouble seems to be brewing near, your inner strength will keep you clear. See, there's clear, clear, and clear. This, emo this intense emotional state really makes you feel defeated and alone, rejected, abandoned. Um, this is your process of discernment, of becoming aware, of regulating this. It is not easy, but you're not alone. You are stronger than you know. You're incredibly tenacious and stronger than you know. This is part of the process of our empathy, of learning our gifts, of taking care of self. This emotional intensity, please don't be down on yourself. Um, you're supposed to be feeling this way. It's a means of purging. It's a means of purging doubt. It's a means of purging fear. It's a means of purging trauma. It's a means of purging the negativity and transforming it into hope, into clarity, into oneness. That, that was left behind um, you're, you're more together than you feel right now lead the way take the reins others will follow if you lead the way heavy hangs the head with a great responsibility my loves it's not easy you've got big work to do here in this world now at this particular time um, I want you to really look into Pluto in Aquarius I want you to look at the historical timeline 250 years ago when the last time Pluto entered Aquarius and we didn't even know Pluto was a planet then <laughs> see what was going on this is a, you're here at this particular time for a reason you're here to share your gifts you're here to help the collective and sometimes that's a heavy, heavy burden to be a leader. It's a great responsibility. But you are capable. You are worthy. And you know what? I feel like these emotional, um, emotionally intense moments of crying and anger make you feel like you're not the one or you're not qualified or you're a fraud. But that's part of your negative self-sabotage thought pattern. That's what makes you hopeless, is when that, that playlist starts to play over and over again. That's what clouds um, the universe's guidance. Um, that's what gets in the way of your divination. That's what gets in the way of your ability to interpret and perceive what's going on around you is negative thought patterns around um, this so-called weakness of tears and um, despair. It's okay to feel these things. It's okay to feel these things. The Queen of Fairy wants to acknowledge that sometimes though you feel it's hopeless. Sometimes you feel like you're not the one. And the face see you and love you. And look at this gift of hope and the rainbow. And you have a special guide with you. 
that helps you find your strength when you're feeling weak. Play! Step outside, step outside, feel the sun, breathe the air, play, have some fun. That's the second invitation from the Fae to come out. Oh look, and play came over, celebrate. This is definitely, you've been, um, been too busy, been in the rat race too long, you need a fresh perspective, you need to go outside to play, put on your tunes, sing in the mirror, do your hair up in a wild way, put some crazy clothes on, <laughs> just really get out there and have fun, be silly, enjoy these moments where you allow yourself to be silly, um, doesn't matter what people think of you, is what's going to help you uh, with your clarity. It's going to help you reinvigorate this hopeful state, this celebratory state, so that you be, can clearly hear your spirit guides with a high vibrational joyful state rather than that low fear, guilt, self-sabotage, and shameful state. Um, it'll help you realize that no, nothing's been left behind. You're not in a million different pieces. In fact, the reality is you're more whole now than you've been in your whole entire life. And the Fae are celebrating everything you've done to get to this moment. Gratitude. Everything will be all right. The fairies dance in your delight. Again with the dancing and celebrating. Turn up the tunes, pretend like nobody's looking, and your homework my friends is to twirl. You are hereby mandated from all the fae, from the queen and me, to dance, 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 dance. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. Courage, your heart, courage, young heart, stand tall. Don't let the love decrease. You are a warrior of peace. Wow, see, a spiritual warrior coming through. Yes, it gets you down. Yes, there's lots to cry about. But that doesn't make you weak. That doesn't make you small. It's part of the process, dear leader, sweet leader of hope, of light, of love, of magic, of divination. Stay strong in your path. Stay hopeful in your path. Here comes the Fae bringing you courage. The courage to stand as tall as a tree. And the strength and the deep-rooted ability to carry this through to get this through, to get through to clarity, to go through this emotional intensity. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm so honored to be on this journey with you. Let's get... One more helpful little note from the Queen of Fairies, Elderberry. Remember to visit Sweet Leo Guidance Time. Woohoohoo! Thank you for being here. What did you think about the ink stuff? I think we'll do that more and more and more. Let me know what you think. And we'll work on cameras and angles so it's really cool and pretty and profound for y'all too. And thank you for being a conduit to bravery through my fear. I open this for you as well my sweet extensions of soul and self, my magical ones. Let's see, ooh, sure, we'll grab those too. <clears throat> These emotional crises are leading you to freedom and hope. And look, we have the dove here, just like a white winged dove. We have a dove here, freedom. Look at this, hope. You'll find freedom in your hope. Wow, that's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 
protection oh yes see elderberry elderberry queen of fairy is protecting you your angels are protecting you it may not feel like that in this emotional intensity but you are protected sweet one you are protected it's a matter of perception everything is a matter of perception this new perception will bring you to the clarity and freedom you are learning how to regulate these emotions so that the emotions no longer cloud your perception this is a beautiful confirmation from the fae wow see taking this mask off intention oh look um look up cerce c-i-r-c-e go down the rabbit hole of cerce you might learn some things that will help you along your um, path of freeing yourself from emotional bondage you see you have the awareness that it's the emotional states that you find yourself in cloud your perception it's emotions that are blocking your freedom and you're almost there you're almost there I'm so glad that you're here the Queen of Fairies has given you an instrument to this freedom and that's to go outside and play and celebrate turn the tunes up really loud and dance and wiggle and be silly you know put your hair in funny ways and just laugh and enjoy be sure to see Leo guidance time thank you all for being here comment subscribe for a um, chance to win when we get 500 subbies I'll be drawing a name for a free reading and I shall see you soon bye everybody hello 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 group three how is everybody today happy happy day to you welcome to this very special fairy collaboration with Leo guidance time um, this is the violet group and what we have here today is my very first time doing an ink read and we will be using elderberry that grows in the yard hooray I was very afraid to do this first time ever doing this um, but with the support and encouragement of Leo guidance time here we are at the gateway of bravery and so in this energetic exchange from us to you I welcome you to to encourage you to be brave to face your fears I'm holding your hand and together we can do it so we'll take some of this elderberry here and we'll drop it into the water and we'll let the queen of fairies decide our topic today and you know like I said this is my first so we'll just this is just to bring it to the gateway and to go through you know to go through this portal Well, see, elderberry, elderberry, queen of fairy. What is a topic for group three today? Fairy, fairy, queen of elderberry. feeling stuck family blood relations versus friend relation identity who are you if family doesn't accept you there's a family dynamic here it's got you feeling stuck Some women in the group may be having issues with menstruation. 
If the Fae want to bring that forth and say that you are seen and validated in your struggle. So family connections and identity. Interesting. Family ties and identity. Elderberry, Elderberry, Queen of Fairy, family ties and identity. Fairy, Fairy, Elderberry, Queen of the Elementals, family ties and identity. Hmm. Stuck. There's a feeling stuck. Family ties, identity, stuck. Family ties, identity, stuck. Family ties, identity, stuck. The elderberry is a gatekeeper. Elderberry harmonizes opposition. Elderberry protects our boundaries. Elderberry is the gateway between our world and the other all worlds. Come together. Music. Ooh, celebration. Life energy. Oh, let me flip these around. Life energy. Oh, look at these new beginnings in the equinox. Okay, right out the gate. You are at the gateway, the precipice. You're crossing the boundary of not depending on your family ties in order to define yourself. This is a new beginning where you're coming together with your tribe, your community, your likes, the, the, the peeps who support you, your authentic self. They might not be the same as your family. Nonetheless, your family are the reason you are who you are and there's a lot to celebrate here even though sometimes they don't understand you or your life choices. Ooh boy, what a beautiful confirmation and powerful, powerful spring equinox of really being comfortable with being you unapologetically dancing to your own tune your own music coming together with your collective with who you choose to identify with and celebrating that uniqueness boy this is a new beginning of incredible possibilities of really embracing um your vibrance, your colors, you're, you're quite an awesome person and if you think that your family, they might not understand you but boy oh boy do they love you and they really really want the best for you. This idea that your um, that your family won't accept you that's not entirely true. That comes from not accepting yourself, not accepting your own music, not accepting your own brilliance and colors. Your family really wants the best for you. They might not know how to show it sometimes because they're caught in their own momentums. This is just beautiful. Some of you might be starting a band or be thinking about starting a band or picking up a musical instrument. I love this music comes out and especially um, right now I'm thinking of flutes, wind instruments. Some of you might want to make your own instrument to sing with. And elderberry might be a very good choice for you because she has a very soft core that can be pulled out and traditionally she's been used to make flutes and wind instruments so that might be a creative idea for of inspiration for you you might want to make your own instruments dance your own tunes sing to your own flute so to speak 
and the elementals are really celebrating this coming together of your authenticity. Queen of Fairies wants you to know that you're a radiant, radiant, beautiful, brilliant, colorful light source. And this spring equinox is the beginning of when you come to see it too. You start to see yourself as your spiritual team sees you, as your friends see you, and your family sees you. Woohoohoo! Celebrate good time! So what does this say? Fairies like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Yeah, networking, collaborating, working with others, this little sweet bee here. This is a beautiful acceptance of the gifts and trust in other people's gifts to collectively bring an outcome, social worker, social advocate, social justice warrior, um, a community garden, like I said, bandmates maybe, orchestral, teaching, sweet social butterfly, you're quite awesome. I just love this energy the Fae are bringing forth. Listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Ooh. Some of you, when you're going to sleep at night, you might hear distant music. This is a confirmation that this is the Fae and your angels um, connecting with you. Other worlds connecting with you through music. Maybe you walk in a store and you hear a chorus um, and then the rest of the music is kind of subdued. There's a message for you there. Get in the car, turn on the radio and the same song, every time you turn on the radio the same song is there. There's a message for you within that, within that music from the fairies, from your angels, from your spirit guides. There's a real connectivity with uh, music and your spiritual team. Music will also, when you're feeling down and confused and like you don't belong, music helps you come together and celebrate light and love and the light energy and how far you've come. This is so pretty. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. You know, maybe you've been separated from your family. Um, because in the last so many years, we've all gone our own way in this um, political just everything that's going on with the play, everything, everything, and, and sometimes we, the consequence of which is we've distanced ourselves from some family members. There might be a reunification if one of these family members invites you for a dinner or something. Accept it and show up presently with love and kindness because we're both, we're all, all in the momentum and we all need kindness. Now, that's not to say put up with any kind of, you know, <laughs> over the line, Donnie. You know, you have autonomy. Um, you are very loved. And no one has the right to put you down in order to raise themselves up. Boundaries are good. The elderberry is the queen of boundaries. <laughs> Thou shalt not pass. And to give you the courage to kindly and politely say, that's a boundary. I'm sticking to it. And when you get upset about having to make those decisions, tune in to the music of the universe to help you come together as a whole again and really shine your light. This is a new beginning of a new kind of relationships um, that, that are not trauma bonded relationships that don't depend on negatively assigning stuff to other people in order to raise themselves up. This spring equinox, this gateway that's opening for you is one of brilliance, of color, 
of collaboration, the meeting of minds and hearts to lift the vibration of the collective. The happy fairy of sunshine brings a lot of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. You know, music might help indicate to you what needs to be healed. If you hear a refrain that makes you immediately cry or feel anger, music is help the, the fairies and the music are helping you connect to that, those shadow parts of self where you can shine this radiant light of music and celebration and transmute those hurts and shadows into light. You're quite spectacular. I don't think you give yourself enough credit for how much you're loved. Uh, what a joy you are to be around. This fairy godmother hails the joyous news ooh, of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as though you would a baby. Here's your permission from the fae. Here's your permission from your spiritual team to go forward with this imagination, idea, collaborative effort. Maybe you are wanting to start your own family. And then here's the, the um, confirmation from the Fae regarding that. I really feel a lot of this is around finding your tribe. Um, a creative team that helps you bring ideas to life. A new way to organize society. You have some light bulb ideas here, some innovative ideas. You'll be really celebrating the outcome here when you when you come together with your team inspiration is your music anytime you get stuck on something music is going to help lift you and move you forward to the next to the next step <clears throat> Some of you have been wondering, am I going to be alone? Some of this is not around necessarily the family, but being left alone. Like, am I ever going to find my one? And the answer is yes. Your one is within you. Your one is the music that drives you, that inspires you, even though you may not have met them yet. That's part of these new beginnings and new life energies. Within the next couple of years, you will have met your one, and you'll know it. There'll be no low vibrational um, reverberations around this person when you meet them. As with your, your collective team, that's going to help you learn and grow and culminate your ideas into a concrete, workable, path. There's a creation of something. Like maybe you're going to patent an idea. Maybe you've come up with a new, like say nurses, rather than depending on the hospitals, y'all start going out to people's houses. There's something, something radically new. You know, like instead of following what they tell you to do, you're coming up with a new way that benefits not only you, but everyone in society. And you find you have more support for this endeavor than you could have ever imagined. You're like the Pied Piper of this creative project. Elderberry, Elderberry, Queen of Fairy. What else do we have to say here? This is beautiful. Wow, this is a huge positive confirmation um, of who you are. This feeling of being left out. You're a part, I love that, that left out. It, it's, it's not that you're left out. 
is not that you stand alone, it's that you stand apart from the crowd. Like, and that's a, that's a heavy burden to stand apart from the crowd. Um, maybe you were bullied because of it, you know, maybe your family has a hard time talking to you because you're so miles ahead of anyone else. Um, and before this spring equinox, it's something that you tried to be like everybody else. But here's this acceptance at this gateway with the Queen of Fairies, at this gateway with Elderberry. There's a radical acceptance of who you are as, as this beautiful colors and light, and this new beginning, this confidence in your project and your brilliance and your ideas. This celebration of self and music is this thread through which it all weaves. Maybe there's some like sort of music therapy going on where you introduce music to others to help lift them out of a depressed state. And so you bring together people in music with music. Elderberry, Elderberry Queen and Fairy. What else would you like us to know? Oh, let me try to do that. <laughs> Yay! I like when people do that. Make the cards fly. My hands are small though and I can't do it with regular cards. Yay! I did it! Yay! <laughs> celebrate again this time is the right time to shout out loud don't hesitate jump around jump around jump around yeah boy celebrate maybe some of you are planning a, a spring wedding and you're getting the jitters and you don't know what the heck is going on um, so that's where the family is coming in this family dynamic and you know uh, being left out or standing alone so that you're actually planning this huge um, wedding or celebration or uh, spring rites a big festival coming in the springtime and you're putting all the things together it's going to be glorious celebrate open your heart enjoy where you're at right now sometimes when we're feeling happy and good and everything's going well um, we feel guilty over that and don't want to share or talk, you know, maybe your friends are sick to death of listening to you talk about this upcoming celebration, um, and so that family dynamic of feeling stuck or separated, feeling left alone. Woohoo! This is so beautiful! Four leaf clovers. You have found a four leaf clover. Unlucky times will soon be over. Yes, yeah, see, at this gateway, at this spring equinox, at this particular time, there's some aha moments going on for you. Things falling into place, and you're seeing for the first time these new beginnings, possibilities. Oh, I just absolutely love this equinox energy for you, this culmination of, of plans, of things just working out for you, and the ability and clarity to be able to receive it. Sleep underneath the nighttime skies, fairies sing you lullabies. Oh, get out, we were just talking about before you go to sleep tonight, hearing music. You know, maybe when you were a child, your um, family sung lullabies to you, and that's something that you want to do as well. Maybe some of you hum yourself to sleep. Maybe some of you in your dreams, you hear music, but there's this definite connection of that just before sleep time and hearing music. Maybe it's the tinkling of bells. These are the Fae. These is your spiritual team loving you and holding you. Be not afraid. Celebrate um, this clear audience. 
The green fairy, a cheeky green fairy on your behalf, is appearing here to make you laugh. Look at this. Someone's finding themselves a counterpart who's an absolute clown and together you giggle, giggle, giggle. It could be a friendship. One of those wonderful friends that, I mean, you can't even be in the room with them without dying in laughter. Everything is hysterical. This is what is coming for you if it's not here already. And if it is here already, it's, acknowledge, it's acknowledging this beautiful friendship of joy and happiness when you get together and snicker at everything and everything's funny. Together you're making your own music and celebrations <laughs> and really enjoying the wonders of life as you come together in this new beginning of your journey here at the gateway with the spring equinox. Oh, I love it. That's so beautiful. Let's look at... Let's see what else our beautiful fairies want to bring to us today. Remember to visit Sweet Leo Guidance Time. Remember we have a contest. Subscribe. Comment. And I get 500 whole subbies. I can't wait. I will choose someone who's going to get a reading with me. Hooray. Alright, Queen of Fae. What else would you like to bring to us today? Ah, this is incredibly wonderful and positive, energetic, sunshiny energy. A sweet little baby. These worries around family and um, companionship. Will you always be alone? No, this is a residual feeling of the isolation we've all been through. Um, thanks to the plague and everything else that's been going on. Um, this isn't actually manifest in your world. This is residual vibrations of things that you have been through. This is really beautiful. Stepping into your own authentic identity, really enjoying your own music, enjoying who you are, and attracting, attracting friends and family who also celebrate and enjoy your authenticity. This is quite lovely, lovely. Ooh, I'm so excited. I get to hang out with you in this energy dynamic for just a moment. Hooray! Let's just grab a couple of these. <coughs> nature. I love it. And truth. Yes, yes, yes. These new beginnings of celebration, of embracing your authentic life energy, your beautiful music, this simpatico coming together of hearts and minds is really going to help tune you into your intuition. There's something here that happens around sleep time when you channel into music that is helping opening your eye and your intuition. Being with nature, I love that this nature comes out as we're asking nature, elderberry, queen of fairy, for direction. So finding yourself in nature, you know, sitting with the flowers, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the clouds, the moon, the rain, the seasons, nature, new beginnings, spring equinox, the flowers blooming, and the coming to your truth, your true identity of who you are, and this beautiful, I just love this beautiful celebration of who you are. Any doubts you had around belonging, having a family, um, 
companions who understand you as we saw in the in the elderberry drop here over here um that's a matter of perception my love that's the that that's the cloudy doubtful reverberations you're really uh coming into loving yourself and embracing your life energy and and attracting a high frequency high vibration collective and if you aren't planning a springtime wedding or celebration, ooh, it's going to be off the chain. <laughs> Maybe some of you want to be a DJ. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. They will lead you to the truth and, your, and the loving of your true, true nature intuition. Follow your intuition. You'll find your true nature. You'll come together in this celebration and the authentic music of you. This beautiful new beginning, rainbow life energy, uh, the courage to dream, the courage to find your own fortune, your own way, because it is guaranteed. This loving collective is a guarantee for you. This is just beautiful. And the cheeky queen of fairies is with you to help you see it through. Ooh, the elementals have your back. Let's do one little more and then I'll say thank you all for being here. I really see you're going to have an awesome, awesome new year here. Thank you, Elderberry Queen of Fairy, for being with us today. Anything else you'd like to let them know right before we go? Hooray! Elderberry! Elderberry! Queen Fairy! Ooh, we have two right here. The Mandragora Mother. Find the secrets hidden in the brambles. Find the secrets hidden in the brambles. The spirit familiar. Seek loving connections and cherished friendships and acknowledgement that along the way and through the brambles, the woods, the vines, you know, our family can sometimes be a vine and the family dynamic can shroud our um, confidence and our bravery and courage of embracing our identity and our true self. This is a beautiful confirmation from the faith that on this journey of self-discovery you're really falling in love with who you are learning to love who you are stand strong in yourself um, learning to dis distinguish what belongs to you what belongs to the collective becoming aware of certain patterns that may have kept you down and I love this spirit familiar this um, sense of feeling alone sometimes this new beginning and what you're coming into is the knowledge that you're not that you are accompanied just like you're, you're like a symphony and you are celebrated and you are loved near this beautiful rainbow of swirling color and you are attracting high vibrational companions and friends and collectives with your true nature and really honing in on your intuitive abilities, your clear audience abilities. There's a special connection with music in you. All right, my loves, there we are. Thank you so much for being here as I faced a fear of doing something new. Um. I'm wishing everybody the best Equinox ever, and I'll see you. Be sure to check out Leo Guidance Time. I'll definitely leave a link, and you are all very loved. Thank you for this bubbly, wonderful energy. Sparkles!